world of YouTube, I wanted to do a little video about this building that exists in Fitchburg, Mass. And, um, supposed to me, my wife used to live by it when she was younger. And she'd always, every time I drive by it, she'd always say that she feels like something is, had happened in this building. She even goes on to say that even a, she feels like a dead body or something's in the back of it or something. I mean, I get some vibes from it too. And it is a very large, I looked it up online, I guess it is for sale. And this damn thing, I guess, I want to say, it's insane that this building right here, to see... Mafio, see Mafio. I um, oh, I can't get up of what it once was. It does have like twelve bathrooms or eight bathrooms and something give to hold thirty people. I'm about to wonder if this might have been a motel at one time, and if that's the case, the only only. Only time in past can tell of living there or even what had happened. And I get a dark, airy feeling just by looking at this place. And uh, I'm almost <laughs> want to believe that there are dead people or died, suicide maybe. I can even say, I could even go about saying the murder happened here. And my wife gets a vibe. She kind of gets stuff like I do, but she don't like to do what I do. She does get feelings. She has dreams. She, you know, like communicating. I mean, she even had a dream of her grandmother's house. of a <laughs> Go figure, a bunch of Indians sitting around a fire out in the field on a rock. All dressed in their war paint. And due to her great-grandmother being a... Uh, uh, full uh, breaded Indian I you know manifest in front of her knowing that she and her grandmother was there at the house visiting her at one time and that's the last time she's seen the Indians to show them what you know what I think the Indians do from the beyond I've even had that happen to myself I mean getting all these vibes but I'm gonna get out of here now I have I'm gonna wait for this car to go by, but like I said, this building, I want to know, but I can't. I'm gonna have to see what I can find with the town hall on this. But I, I mean, there is an eerie, dark feeling that I get from them myself. And like I say, I'm about to wonder if it was a housing for like maybe back in the day. I mean, not just a motel, but you can see a lot of old buildings here. This this uh, hardware store is even still open for many, many years. But as you can see, the buildings are very unique in style. And the old churches and stuff. But that building back there, man, I just, something about it. And I'm not, like I said, I don't know. I want to say maybe it housed like, like a bed and breakfast type thing. Back in the day, them things were were a lot around but so say you know <laughs> but with that many bathrooms in it and looking up online I'm like, I'm like, I, I got to say it had to have been at least like something like a little motel that once existed but I won't know until I get to the uh, down to the city hall and see if I can find something on it I mean maybe I can find the deeds I mean I can uh, what is it called the Registry of Deeds in Worcester find out what it was I just haven't got to that yet but I mean other than that it was like wow it's insane what you get vibes from you know this is something of proof of uh you know when you get that gut feeling in your stomach and you know something or feel something there I mean no doubt in my mind, you got a gift of knowing of something from beyond. A lot of people don't believe in this, and a lot of people just don't care for it. 
And I think them are the ones that don't get the full manifest of any type of ghost is right. But the weak get it. Why? Because they're constantly scared. That's the thing. When you're scared in life and you think of everything in the, as life and uh, being a true nightmare, you know the stick from the paranormal. That's what I think. Them are my thoughts and theories. But I mean, that building back there, man, I get this bad vibe. I mean, who knows what went on within the walls of that place. And it's still to this day, right, it's been shut down and it is on the market. Who knows, maybe I'll call the realtor and see what they say about it. Things up for a half a million dollars, like 400, almost 500 thousand dollars or something. It's like, what the hell? I don't know how much life it has into it, but you know. <laughs> Anyways, another video down that I'd like to have shared, of course. Especially when it's a ghost and paranormal. You've got to do it history. Love history. Love the ghost. But we'll see what happens. I'm going to get some more info on that building. Going to see what I can find and whip up. Got to get to the registry of these. I'm going to call them up sometime soon. Next video on that. Watch for it. Other than that, YouTube Nation, be safe, take care. And always believe. Out.